Avenol, the lifeblood of your car. Ralph, good to see you again. Like Ravenel, you're working with the ADAC Kart Academy, and in fact, you're even the team leader of the Cars and Racing Kart team. From your perspective, what's actually changed in kart racing since you've started? I think that like everything in life, it has become more difficult and more professional. There's more competition. You have to be better prepared, and in particular, you need to plan very well. Ravenel also supplies the transmission oils for the ADAC Formula 4. You are the team leader there, and you're currently ranked second in U.S. racing. It's going well, right? Yes, we're actually really pleased. And yes, indeed, Formula 4 is a really attractive series for future generations. That's why we are glad we have it. Of course, so is our partner, which in this case is Ravenol. They not only supply us with transmission oil, but also with lots of other cleaning agents and everything we need for the cars. You, your brother Michael, and lots of other drivers who started in Formula One later also previously started in the Formula Three championships. How important do you think it is for a good junior series to create a good basic structure for later series? How do you see Formula Three as it was and as it is today? In principle, it is like in football or in any other type of sport. You start small and build up year after year. In motorsport, things are sometimes predetermined or fixed where kart racing is concerned. After kart racing comes the entry-level series. At the time it was Formula Junior, now it's Formula 4. And then, as now, it's still called Formula 3. Of course, this is extremely important. The requirements of the drivers increase from category to category. And this can be drastic. First of all, you have to get used to the new speed, to the other competitors, and perhaps also to the different racetracks. So there are many factors which require adjustment. Once you then get to the end of the track, I mean, or the road, you're heading for Formula One, and preparation is essential for success. You support and represent the Ravenel brand in motorsport. Are you aware how extensive this area of business has become? Okay, so we see this in every aspect of motorsport. I must say that it is great that a company shows such commitment to motorsport. But of course, I don't know everything that goes on. How important is quality when it comes to oil? Oil is like the lifeblood of the engine, I would say. And I think that's self-explanatory. The problem is developing a lubricant which helps the engine last a long time, but which also teases out the performance of each engine that you wish to achieve, taking it to the limit without the engine breaking down. Many people find motorsport totally fascinating. But what do you think the benefit is of a long-term commitment to motorsport for a manufacturer of technical products such as Ravenol? Motorsport has one advantage. You always get direct feedback because the strain on the vehicle is much higher than in the general automotive sector. In any case, it can be observed much more quickly. In motorsport, there is only take it or leave it, win or lose, it's quite simple. And if I bring a product to market and I'm convinced by it, in this case it would be oil, if the oil was bad, I would probably recognize the engine problem immediately. This would be in the worst case scenario that the engine breaks down completely, and you're out of the race. And from the point of view of developing technology, and perhaps also developing the sensitivity of some employees and their levels of motivation, I think that sport, and in this case motorsport, is certainly the best thing you can do. So it's actually an extreme field test for later usage. Well, that's not actually unusual. Many things are tested in motorsport initially before they go into production. It began with hybrid technology and was then implemented in production. But when I talk about the weight and size of a unit today, of course everything in motorsport has to be as small, light and efficient as possible. That's because space is very limited. There's also the competition, who are trying to get one over on you. And of course, something like this can be easily implemented in the automotive sector afterwards. I have a question for you about your own personal driving style. Has anything changed in that respect now that you're not actively competing as a racing driver? What are you like on the roads? Well, there's a road traffic act, and I've got to stick to that like everyone else. Although I'm not really a racing driver on the roads, I never have been. And of course, thank goodness, we have the advantage in Germany that we're allowed to drive fast if traffic permits, and if there's no speed limit on the road. We also have the right cars in Germany. It's really good fun, but apart from that, you just have to adhere to the traffic and to the rules. 
And the final question, which engine oil are you using at the moment? Well, that question is probably rather self-explanatory, which isn't only because I'm working with the company, but also because I believe in the product. And this has been proven often enough. Also in motorsport, in other long-distance series too. It's a great product. Would you like to show it to me? We'll do that now then. Vinol, the lifeblood of your car.